Hello, I'm Dr. Gerald Chodak and this is ProstateVideos.com. A new study has recently been published looking at the impact of intermittent hormone therapy for men that have a rising PSA following radiation therapy. Many men are faced with tremendous anxiety as they see their PSA go up and for that reason hormone therapy is usually started and it started without us truly knowing whether or not it improves your survival. But it does bring down the PSA and it seems to delay progression of the disease. Now we have a new well done study that says if you have a rising PSA while at recovering from or after radiation therapy, you don't have to stay on the hormone therapy indefinitely. It seems reasonable to stop the hormone therapy after a period of eight months and wait to restart it until the testosterone level rises or the PSA reaches a level of 10. Under those circumstances, you can then have the treatment restarted. Now, why would you do this? Well, there are some quality of life benefits. First of all, the men on intermittent therapy had fewer complaints of hot flashes, and they had better sexual interest or sexual desire called libido. They also had fewer urinary complaints during the time that they were off therapy. So it does offer some advantages. There's obviously a cost savings by not having to receive the treatment continuously. And since the average survival for men who have this condition is about nine years, it means that one can enjoy good periods of time where the side effects are minimized or reduced. So the bottom line here for anyone who has a rising PSA following radiation therapy is that hormone therapy can be administered and then can be interrupted periodically and then restarted as needed. It does not appear to compromise a man's survival. And for that reason, it becomes a reasonable alternative for you to consider. I hope you find this information helpful. Thank you for watching.